Hey everybody, welcome to the studio. It's Tisa Blackburn here in San Francisco. It's noon on Wednesday, so it must be a live video. I'm gonna do a pouring demonstration and I'm working from the studio today. That's a new thing because as you guys may know, my studio is out of the old Hunters Point shipyard in San Francisco and we have 19th century wiring out here. So I'm basically doing this with two tin cans and a string, okay? So if the live stream seems funny and pixelated and stuff like that, that's the reason, okay? Um, today's topic is a live pouring demonstration with polymer medium. Let me... <laughs> This thing weighs a ton, you guys. This is polymer medium gloss. So whenever I'm doing a pouring on a canvas, I want to use a product that's going to get really, really good clarity and it's going to dry absolutely clear. Now, the, anything, anytime you use any of these mediums or gels that are pourable, make sure you use something that says gloss in the name and then you'll be sure that you're gonna get really good clarity, okay? And you know, I also want some feedback from you all out there about how things sound on um, the this particular type of connection because I'm gonna try and do live feeds from the studio. We'll see how it goes. I'm not using a microphone, so I'm using the onboard mic from the phone. So I need some feedback from you guys. Can you hear, can you see, all that kind of good stuff, okay? because I want you to get the content. It doesn't do me any good to do this stuff if you guys can't understand it, right? Okay, so first things first, let's get started. I wanna do this pour for you. I wanna talk first of all about some of the supplies you need. Polymer medium gloss, you're gonna need that. You could also do this, oh, that's heavy. You could also do this with GAC 800 from Golden. You can pour with just about any of the mediums from Golden. There's a couple that you don't want to pour with, but definitely GAC 800. You can use 500, you can use 200. Those special purpose polymers, you know, if you have questions about that, always check the Golden website. That's goldenpaints.com. The other thing you can pour with is tar gel. And I love tar gel. I love to pour with it. I do a lot of pouring with it. It gives you that super, super glossy look, but it does take a very long time to dry. So bear that in mind, okay? Um, when I'm pouring in the summertime, like I consider this summertime in San Francisco, when I'm pouring in the summertime, I can use tar gel because the temperature in the studio doesn't get below about 65 degrees. In the wintertime, I don't usually pour with tar gel that much because it gets cold in the studio. I don't have any you know, heating or insulation. And so it gets cold in the studio. And so things will tend to dry at a really kind of wonky rate and it doesn't work that well. So for me, pouring in the summertime with tar gel is the way to go. Now, when I'm pouring with polymer medium, I can do it anytime because it has a much thinner viscosity. I can pour in thinner layers and it, I don't have to be as worried about the drying time. So that's why I tend to pour with polymer medium the most. I wanna show you something that I did pour already that's already got a couple of layers. I'm gonna just run around behind the camera and grab this. So you can see this little piece already has a couple layers. I'm gonna flick it towards the light there. You can see how glossy it is. You can even see the edge here where I've had it laying down on the freezer paper. I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. I've had it laying down on the freezer paper and um, the polymer dried and it just stayed stuck to the edge. So, you know, you can do that too. I, I will trim them off at the end though. All right, this is what's called a dirty pour and I'll talk about that in a minute. The first thing though that I'm gonna show you is how to do just a regular pour with clear polymer medium, and that will get you that super glossy effect. As a matter of fact, hold on, I wanna show you something. I'm gonna go behind the camera, and I'm gonna show you You guys, if I was organized, I would be so dangerous. If I was organized, I could take over the world. <laughs> okay, this is a layer, a, a canvas that's got uh, two layers 
of polymer medium on it, gloss, okay? Flick that around so you can see the glossy surface. See the edge on that? Not very deep. Now that is two layers of polymer medium gloss. This is two layers of tar gel. Surface looks very similar, doesn't it? But I don't know if you can see the depth on that or not. It might be hard to see on the camera, but it's got a, a much more, um, it has much more depth. This has tar gel, that one has polymer medium gloss. Now, I'm seeing on my feed that I have a very bad connection. That means things might be pixelated. If it drops out, just come back. I'll still be here. Woo woo. Okay, let's get started on this feed, on this feed. Whoa, let's get started. <laughs> oh, I'm running around like crazy over here. Um, let's get started on this pouring demonstration before I lose my YouTube connection. Because to be honest with you guys, I'm surprised I can make this connection work at all. All right, so I'm going to tip the camera down. Hopefully it won't make you too dizzy. Let's go like that. Okay, now you should be able to see my canvas here. And I'm going to show you a couple of things while I'm doing this. First thing I want to talk to you about, let's get the canvas out of the way. Let me talk to you about the setup for what it is you need to do. This is just the lid from one of those plastic storage bins that you can get at, at um, you know, Crate and Barrel or any of those places, right? Plastic storage bin. This is freezer paper. Freezer paper is your best friend. We love freezer paper. So this is freezer paper. Do it around like that so you can see it. I hope you're seeing that. I don't have the mirroring image on. You might be seeing everything backwards. I don't know. But you guys know what freezer paper is. Get yourself a couple rolls of that. You're going to need it. Now, I've got the freezer paper taped down on my plastic lid. You could just use the plastic lid without taping it down, uh, without any freezer paper. But the thing about that is once you get the lid uh, full of polymer medium, you have to let it dry, peel it up, blah, blah, blah. Why not just put some freezer paper down and then you can keep rolling, baby. You can keep rolling, okay? Here is my canvas. Here is my... Polymer medium. Ooh, I just made the camera bounce really bad. Polymer medium. Gloves. Gloves, you guys. Gloves are your friend. Put your gloves on. Don't, don't tell me you don't need gloves either, because you do, right? Because otherwise you go home with polymer medium in your hair and, well, I don't know, maybe you like that. I, you know, I don't have enough hair to spare, so I'm not going to put polymer medium in my hair. All right, here's my um, polymer medium gloss, my big jug. I'm gonna pour that into some smaller containers. Do yourself a favor and pour into smaller containers. Don't get all crazy and think you can handle this big jug or a big 32 ounce and that you're not gonna dump it all over the place. Believe me, it's gonna happen. <laughs> and you're gonna end up with polymer medium everywhere. Okay. Here is my canvas. Let's get back into frame with that. Here's my canvas. Now, I'm gonna get a couple of little tiny uh, paint thingies, paint jars. See these babies? Tiny paint jars, like so. You can see this one's already covered in polymer medium. I've done, <laughs> I've used this one before. Okay. So give, you know, do yourself a favor. Make it as easy as possible. Don't try and be all heroic and do everything yourself. So see how I'm doing that on the side there? Okay, now I'm going to just start at the top. And oh, paper cup. Very important that you use a paper cup. Pinch it, and you can get this really nice pouring spout. Okay, that's just how hard that is. Look, isn't that pretty? My little uh, polymer medium going down there. Now, as it goes down, you're going to see it kind of gets wonky and makes funny edges and stuff. So let's just help it out. Even it out a little bit. Okay. Now, 
let it go almost all the way down and then right as it gets down to the bottom turn it around come back this way and repeat the process you're not going to need as much polymer this time Oops, got a little divot there I need to fill that in fill in those little spots now this is going to make the camera bounce you guys but hang on but because this is important you need to do this so just hold on pretend like you're on a roller coaster for a minute okay see that just bang it a little bit and that is going to give you that nice thin layer do that on all four sides bang 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 one more time bang 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 one more time, bang, bang, bang. Looks good. Now, I'm gonna take a look here. Looks like I have a little divot right there that needs to be filled in. Just gonna do that right there. Awesome, that is my pour. I'm done. All I'm gonna do now is set this aside to dry and I'm gonna do two things. First of all, I'm gonna put it vertical for about five or six minutes. I am going to use this fluid bottle right here and I'm just going to put this baby vertical whoops trying not to have it fall over on its face I'm going to put it vertical for about 10 minutes maybe five minutes as tiny as this piece is about five minutes what that does is that lets all the excess come off and then you're going to get this super thin very very perfectly flat glossy layer and it's so delicious it's going to look like this one it's going to be all delicious and glossy and even there won't be any little bits in it that don't work okay so that's long enough let me get two more jars now what i'm going to do is i would take this little baby this little tiny baby and I would take two more jars and put it down like so and leave it overnight let me scoot that a little bit so you can see a little better what I'm doing see those four jars there little baby that's it I'm done now I'm gonna let that go overnight and when I come back tomorrow, it's gonna to be deliciously glossy and there's not gonna be any wonky bits or anything like that. It's gonna be so yummy. Okay, so now let's put this baby aside. And also, you know, it helps. You see this black plastic that I've got on my tables? It really helps to have this stuff Honestly, I think if I could wrap myself up and, and use it as a dress, I would. This is that black plastic that you get from Home Depot, the construction plastic. Truly a fantastic investment. And the, the acrylic doesn't stick to it, so it's awesome. Now, let's do a dirty pour. This is kind of like a dirty martini. We'll talk about that some other time. This is a dirty pour. And I'm going to take this canvas right here, which is a demo canvas and it's not terribly impressive, not, not too pretty. I'm going to do a dirty pour on top of it. So what I mean by a dirty pour, I'm going to take the polymer medium that I've got and I'm going to put paint into it and I'm not going to mix it. So let's get a pretty color. I know I keep walking off camera. But just bear with me. This is, a, this is the first time I've tried to do YouTube live from the studio, so it's, it's interesting. All right, so here's some iridescent pearl. I'm going to put some of that in here, like so. See that? I'm not mixing it up. Iridescent pearl. And let's put a little anthraquinone blue, okay? Just put some anthraquinone blue in there. Okay, see that? Now I'm gonna get a nice contrasting color. And I'm looking 
looking for the Titan buff. Here we go. Titan buff. Now I'm going to put that in here, a little like so. Okay, so you see that? Whoops, see that? Now I'm not mixing it. Let me get my pouring station ready. Get these guys ready. Well, for this one, I don't need these guys, so let's just put him down there. I want to make sure you can see it. Okay, now I've got my dirty mixture, and I'm just going to start pouring. Let's let it go like that, see what we've got. So you see how the colors are not mixed, they're swirling like that? They will dry swirled like that. So I'm going to put that down like so. Let it drip off a little bit over there. Now I'm going to take my anthraquinone blue and I'm going to go right into the mixture. And I'm going to put a little Titan Buff. I hope you guys can see that. Let me get a little closer. Titan Buff right into it. Now I'm going to come back with my dirty pour and pour right here on the corner. Now I'm just going to let that move around. And that anthraquinone blue is heavier, so it's going to kind of push that polymer around. I'll have to um, let this dry and then show you guys what it looks like after it dries. But this is a really cool way to do some really fun stuff. Pretend you're on a roller coaster, I'm going to bang. <laughs> All right, so you can get some really neat stuff doing this kind of thing. Let me put a little uh, iridescent silver down here. And we'll do a little bit more pour there. Now I don't want it to run off the edge, so I'm going to go this way with it. Okay. So you're going to have to imagine what this looks like dry, because obviously it's not going to dry right now while we're talking, duh. But um, I will let it dry and then I'll post a picture on the YouTube channel. So I'm going to set that aside for right now. I'm full of polymers. See, this is why you wear gloves, right? Because I couldn't do YouTube Live and all this other funky stuff with all this all over me. So give me a minute to... Pull this off and I will come back to the camera and say howdy to everybody. Send me emails and uh, get me over on Facebook. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be over on Facebook here right after this. So if you have questions, jump over to Facebook to the um, Acrylic Diva page and I will be over there and I will answer your questions, okay? So let me just recap. Polymer Medium Gloss. And we're using the freezer paper. Freezer paper is your friend. And that will help you. You can put that down. Use the lid of a, of a uh, plastic bin or something like that. You can even use a cardboard box. Use the bottom of a cardboard box and put freezer paper in the bottom of it. And then everything is, uh, you know, kind of disposable. And you can do some pours. And you don't have to get polymer medium all over the house, right? Okay, I'm going to sign off and get over to Facebook. I'm going to be in Facebook Live here in about two minutes. So check it out. If you've got questions about this live broadcast or anything else, just get over there and I will see you soon. Thank you for your patience while I get all the technical stuff worked out out here in the 19th century building. Maybe, no, 20th century. This building's been here since World War II. So... We have some issues about connectivity and technology. All right, everybody, thank you so much. I really appreciate all your patience. I appreciate you guys subscribing. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be working out those tech things, and it's going to get very smooth, I promise, okay? 
All right, take care everybody, have a great day, and what do I always say? Keep painting, bye-bye.